This is the LAN board's GBS board for the BeagleBone Black. What you're seeing is connections to all 12 GPIO lines. Five of the GPIO lines are 5 volts and seven of the GPIO lines are 3.3 volts. Each of the GPIO lines is being individually set to outputs. One channel is being set high at a time and this results in one of the LEDs being on at a time. Also there's some typical GBS sensors on the breadboard such as a GBS push button switch, buzzer, RGB LED, five-way switch, and a couple of IR sensors. This is the BeagleBone Black GBS cape running PWM outputs on the 5 volt and 3.3 volt PWMs at the same time. The BeagleBone Black GBS cape has connections to three UARTs. One of the UARTs is 3.3 volts and the other two UARTs are 5 volts. To demonstrate the single 3.3 volt UART, we loop back the UART to itself by connecting its transmit and receive lines. We then run a terminal program on the BeagleBone Black and type into the terminal and watch the data come back. We can disconnect the cable and see that the data no longer comes back. To demonstrate the two 5 volt UARTs, we cross connect the two UARTs by connecting the transmit and receive lines of one UART to the corresponding receive and transmit lines of the other UART. We run two separate terminal programs on the BeagleBone Black. We can then type in one terminal and see the data come back on the other terminal and swap it around and see the data come back on the other channel. In this video, the BeagleBone Black is running a program which demonstrates the function of the analog inputs which are connected through the GBS board. The GBS board supports all seven analog inputs of the BeagleBone Black. The analog inputs can be difficult to breadboard since they don't connect to the 3.3 volt power of the GPIO lines. The analog inputs have their own 1.8 volt reference voltage which is connected to the power and ground pins of the GBS connections on the GBS board. Having separate power connections for each analog signal allows multiple analog inputs to be derived from external analog sources which each need to get the same analog reference power. In this demonstration, one of the analog inputs is connected to a potentiometer. The analog program running on the BeagleBone Black reads the analog input from the internal analog to digital converter and maps the analog level to the eight LEDs. When the potentiometer is turned up, the lights light up. And when the potentiometer is turned down, the lights go off. This video is also demonstrating the GBS card's analog inputs. In this case, it's using a five-way switch. A 5-way GBS switch is a little card which has five buttons and it's typically used for menu navigation with up, down, left, right, and select buttons. These buttons are connected to a resistor network on the card and each button then maps to a unique analog voltage which gets put out on the GBS pin. The BeagleBone Black reads that analog voltage from the GBS pin and converts that voltage into a digital level which you can see here is reflected in the lights. Each button push results in a different value and the different buttons can be differentiated by that different value.